So in our previous video, we were working on the original. Now we're going to go to the copy. So we need to highlight the copy, and then we're going to check this so we can actually see it. You can see the differences between the filters that we added to it, the bad TV and the gamma, versus something that doesn't have any filters at all. So we're going to take this back to the very beginning, to frame number one. And this time we're going to talk about masks and how to add a mask to it. So to draw a mask, it's easier to work with just the single frame. So we're going to use the first one. On the left side, right down here in your toolbar, you, you have all of these options. This last one here is the rectangle mask. So we're going to click that re rectangle mask. And starting from above and to the left of the skier, we're going to draw a rectangle that encompasses the skier and leaves a little room to the right. So basically we're cutting off this left side of it. So I'm going to hold the mouse down and maybe go to just where the pole is. So we're going to basically crop a little bit of that. So now we have this mask here. You may want to adjust the position of the mask after you draw it. Maybe pull this one up a little bit more to maybe focus on that. And drag this down a little bit. So we know that the focus is on the skier and a little bit of room to where she's going. Um, so when we have the mask selected, we're going to soften the edges a little bit, so we're going to open up the HUD, and we're going to feather this, which means it softens the edges, it's not quite as just breaking in lines. So let's take the feather to 25. You see it's, it's increasing your mask a little bit, and then let's do it where it's not so just sharp. So let's take the roundness, so it's going to round the corners off to 20, and you'll see how it's just adding a little bit of curve to those as well. So now we have a mask, and you'll see that it added the rectangular mask here. Now we want to add a little bit of uh, a drop shadow. So I'm going to click on the layer, the copy layer that we want to work on, and just add the drop shadow. And you'll see that it added a little bit of shadow here. And you see that it's not quite so sharp edged, rounded, and a little bit feathered, which is what you just completed. So let's save our work, Command S, and just look at what we've done so far. Okay, so that is the work that we've done. We've added a mask, we've softened it up. We have basically a sort of picture within a picture. And now let's blend these two together. So with our layer list, we're still on Mogul 1 copy. And in our HUD, our blend mode, we're going to uh, change that. So we're going to change it to screen. You see how it lightens it up and makes it a little bit more transparent. Now, on this one, we'll play it back. And so, sort of still doing the picture in picture thing. But now you can sort of see through it a little bit more. And because we have it on loop, it's just going to repeat until we pause it. So we've added our mask, we've added our blending, which in this case brightens it up a little bit more. Now we need to add text to it. So our skier is in a freestyle mogul competition, and so we want to let the people know what kind of competition this is. So in the gray area of the canvas, just slick here, 
and just so we don't have anything else selected. So as we're going through this, we're going to actually play this part as we add the text. Uh, so we know where to add the text and it doesn't get on her face or anything because she's moving within the, the time frame. So our text, we have a text box right here. So we're going to click this. And then near the center of the canvas, we're going to write down the skier's name. And her name is Veronica Paulson. So we have her name there. We can press escape to return to the selection tool. And now our HUD has several options that we can use. And so we want this to be a little bit um, bigger. So let's change. Uh, we want to keep the Ventura, but we want it to be a little bit fatter. So let's go to the Condense Extra Bold. So you have some of your other formats, medium, and it gives you a preview here of what that looks like. So we want it to be a little bit fatter. And we want to change the size as well. So let's change the size uh, to about 70. And the white looks okay. But let's change the color as well, and you can change your color right here. And you see you have it here, and I can go through. It also has a color wheel if you're more comfortable with that. So I can tell it what I want it to change or how I want it to change. So let's look for a like an icy blue tone to match the fill. Um, maybe something like that. And then we just close that out. And so that looks okay. Now let's move it a little bit. Let's move her name a little bit over, and maybe a little bit down, so it's at the edge of that center section. Now let's animate the name, so we want it to kind of fly in. So with Veronica Paulson, the text layer selected, let's go to the library and we're going to go to behaviors. So in our behavior section, we're going to go to the basic motion because we just want it to kind of fly in and we're going to go to what it's called throw. So as you see this preview is pushing it in in a certain specified direction. So in our canvas, we're going to take this and add it to there. Now, in our HUD, we now have this little area that will tell us what direction and how fast we want it to throw. So, hold down the shift button to, to go in a certain direction. See, it goes in 45 degree angles. Otherwise, if you don't hold the shift, it could go in any one, but we want it to go this way. Okay, so we're going to, actually let's move this back a little bit. We want it to end up right there. And you see, I can move it to whatever, but if I hold the shift button down, it takes it to the 90 degree, 0, 45, and so on. So we're going to move it a little bit to where that's moving more. One other thing that we want to make sure of is we're going to take the timeline back to the beginning and you'll notice that her name is somewhat already on screen 
So we want to make sure that we pull it back enough that it starts there, and then when we play it, it comes in to the place where it needs to be. And it goes pretty much across the screen. And let's go to the end. Right here. And so at the very end, that's where we end up. Even though we are taking it further back in the timeline, it will stop right there. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and we also need the event. So let's just take it back somewhere in the middle and we're going to duplicate this layer. So I can right click and duplicate. So now I have a copy. Well this copy I want to move down. So I have two versions of it right now. And now I have these two, and they both should be moving because it kept the, also it kept the throw in there as well. So it comes in right there. Now we're going to change the type. So if I triple click, instead of just double, I need to triple. And so now, or I can just hold it down and do it, I'm going to type in freestyle mogul. Now, I don't want it to be the same exact uh, font and all, so I'm going to change this to, uh, from the bold, let's go to the medium. So now it's a little bit different. And I'm going to change the text size to a little bit smaller. Let's go around 60. And I want to actually make sure that it aligns to the left. So I'm going to close my HUD. And in the layers list, I'm going to hold the command button down and click the text. And now I'm going to choose object, which is up here. And I'm, on my alignment, I want to align the right edges. So now it aligns these up right here. And so they come in, they'll be in the same starting place. So they come off screen and then fly in. So I'm going to pause it there. So we have our text, and now we want to add an effect or something that will make that stand out a little bit more. So we're going to add some more elements in the next section.